we're asked to prove that sine to the fourth theta minus cos to the fourth theta is equal to two sine squared theta minus one. We'll set up a table for our proof. The expression on the left side is sine to the fourth theta minus cos to the fourth theta, and the expression on the right side is two sine squared theta minus one. We'll rewrite two sine squared theta minus one at the bottom of the right hand side. And we'll work through the expression on the left, sine to the fourth theta minus cos to the fourth theta. We recognize this as a difference of squares. So we can rewrite it as sine squared theta plus cos squared theta times sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. A basic Pythagorean identity tells us that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. So the expression is sine squared theta minus cos squared theta. Rearranging the Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one, gives us cos squared theta equals one minus sine squared theta. We'll use the distributive property and multiply both terms in the bracket by negative one, giving us this expression. This simplifies to two sine squared theta minus one. We see that the expression on the left is equivalent to the expression on the right. So this proves that sine to the fourth theta minus cos to the fourth theta is equal to two sine squared theta minus one is an identity.